Today's video is simple and the message is to stop playing small. So much for coming back to my channel today is just a quick little message to remind us of who and whose we are and god has really placed on my heart a message of stop playing small overcoming any limitations and setbacks that has been placed before you or placed on yourself by you okay confusing but let us pray god i thank you so much for who you are. I thank you for your wisdom. I thank you for your power, your anointing, your grace, God, that is so sufficient. I just pray, God, that we rise up to the totality of who you've called us to be, God, and that we do not play small in this season and beyond, God. You get the glory, the honor, the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all. So this is a, a reminder that it's time for you to be all of who God has called you to be. No more playing small, no more coloring inside the boxes, no more barriers and limitations. This is the time, a reminder, the season for you to live boldly in Christ. Um, Matthew 19, 26 says, but Jesus looked at them and said to them, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. It didn't say some things. It didn't say just, you know, on Mondays and Wednesdays. It didn't say five days a week. It didn't say only possible on the weekends. It says all things are possible, which means that there are no limitations to the possibilities of God. All things, no matter your age, your race, your sex, your, your failures, your geographical location, your education, literally all things are possible. And I'm just making this video to remind somebody that it's time to break out of that box today. Even for me, a woman in ministry, there are so many people who have tried to limit me, who have tried to silence my voice, who have tried to put me on their own trajectory. But God has, God is like, I am greater than any box. I am bigger than any statistic and, and stereotype. Like, do not try to have this cookie cutter life because God is, is beyond that. And so what I want you all to remember is that you have unique fingerprints. And when God in Genesis created man, he said, behold, it is very good. The word behold is used in the Bible sparingly, but it's used at very like monumental times. Behold, this is a son of God, right? Behold, God created man and it is very good. Behold, woman, you are going to be conceive a son. Like the word behold, and so the fact that God has used such emphasis on this creation, which is you and I, we have to begin to posture ourselves accordingly, right? We serve a limitless God. So we cannot place limitations on a limitless God. There are limitations to man. There are limitations to what our heroes and our mentors can do, but there are no limitations to what God is doing. So as you're pursuing your purpose, your vision, as you are chasing after your destiny, let me ask you this. Are you really believing boldly? Are you declaring with, with an infinite mindset? right? Or is it finite? Is it limited? Is it um, based off of what you've seen? Is it based off of your resources? I have heard so many stories of people stepping out on faith and people giving money, people blessing them with businesses, people sowing seeds into their ministry. When they have movement, God can move. God can move others towards your behalf. And so it is time for you to stop thinking so small. And the other day I was looking out of my window as I was coming down the stairs and I just said, Christian, 
You you can you can be doing so much more. Why are you just limiting yourself and your beliefs? And 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 everyone is not going to understand. It is not their job to understand. But I'm here to remind you as you break out in this season that you serve an audience of one, and that audience is God. When God downloads something to you, when He gives you that idea, that vision, that purpose, no one else. Is supposed to understand. They may support, but God gave it to you. So the fact that other people may doubt you, that they don't want to support you, that they're they're speaking ill of you, that should not be a hindrance to stop you from propelling and pushing forward. Because if God said it, He'll do it. God will God will fund the vision. God will protect you as you go to uncharted territories. The Holy Spirit has already gone before you and is looking behind saying, when are you going to show up? It's time for us to just break those barriers. Like if no one is inviting you to the table, build your own. If, if no one is there in the audience, the Holy Spirit is there cheering for you, rooting for you. So again, do it afraid. Do it isolated. Do it with questions. Do it with a little faith, the size of a mustard seed. Do it with little money. You know, do it again. Do do whatever that didn't work before. And God is saying, I need you to get back out there. Be unafraid to do it again if you have to. Modify it, right? Um, tear it apart. Build it back up. But whatever you do, do not stop. Do not limit your greatness. There is something that you have been placed on this earth for that only you can do. And the enemy's job is to distract you, to make you feel unworthy, to replay things in your head, to make you compare your life to other people. What God has called you to do may not have been seen before. It's, it's probably have never been done before. You may be the pioneer. You may be the one carrying the torch for others to come, but no matter where you are, just know it is time for you to live and walk and speak and have expectations that are bold in Christ. Psalm 147.5 says, Our Lord is great with limitless strength. will never comprehend what he knows and does. If it's healing that you need, limitless strength. If you've gone through trauma, limitless strength. If you're stuck, and you don't even know how to get out and you've been in this place for so long. Limitless strength, the strength of God, of God can pull us out of anything. There's nothing too hard for our God. So I need you who's watching. I need you to stop thinking small of yourself. I need you to stop playing small. I need you to stop watering down your anointing. I need you to stop walking into rooms and silencing yourself. I need for you to stop being afraid of the light that radiates from you. I need for you to stop saying, I get too much attention. I need you to be all of who God has called you to be unashamedly, unafraid, undoubtedly. You are needed. And it's time for you to break out of that box. God is cheering for you. God is supporting you. God is rooting for you. And I'm praying for you. Let us pray. God of no limitations, no boundaries. God who can overcome any obstacle, God. Tread with us through any valley, Lord. Climb to any mountaintop. God who created the earth, the moon, the stars, the sun, God, who created us and our passion and our mission, God, who is limitless, who is omnipotent, who has all power, who is all-knowing, God, God, we unite with you today, not our fears, our doubts, our worries, God, but I just pray that you give us a supernatural confidence, God, that we are still rooted in humility, Lord but that we are reminded that we were created in your image. This God that has strength, God, this God that has power and authority, God, you have given us that same power. So I thank you, God, for reminding us of who and whose we are. I thank you, God, that we're gonna walk through this day with our head held high, unapologetically, God, who you've called for us to be. For God, you are our audience. And our only mission is to someday stand before you 
where you can say, well done, my good and faithful servant. So Lord God, let us be faithful over the gifts, the talents, the lives that you've given us. And we will be sure to give you the honor and praise. All right. No more playing small. No more limiting yourself. No more asking below your worth. It is time for you to rise into all that God has created you to be. If you have not done so already, please like and subscribe to the channel because I really want us to stay connected. And if you have some topics that you want me to discuss, just type it in the chat. Like, just let me know what you're going through and what you want to hear um, about in the future. So continue to rise because the world is waiting. Love you. Bye-bye.